The Shagster has developed a recent taste for the sweet transvestites. But I also heard that our good friend ZXV0 has been hitting up Matt Dog. In a VC with a gay man, a gay Norwegian, a tranny Australian, we previously had a tranny American Madeline feline show her us the butthole. Her bussy. Sweet, delicious bussy. Yeah, me. Like, what do you mean? Keep up. I mean what I say. Like, I only speak the truth. Google, Google, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you, bro. I've committed serious crimes in my life. Sweet, delicious food. I've committed serious crimes that I'm not gonna fucking say on camera because the serious crimes, if I said them on camera, I would probably be prosecuted for fucking, <laughs> you know, pretty fucking bad. Yeah, that's, um, you don't say what you've done, but, you know, I mean, shit, everyone's done bad stuff in their lives, man. Just, you, you can't let the past, like, you know, consume you and drag you down, you know? It's like, you didn't go to jail, you know? Did you really hurt anyone when you did the bad crimes? Like, was it just, like, something like, like did you, like, like fuck anyone's, like, else up? Or are you okay? Like, is Sweet, everyone, delicious as long as you're good and, like, you've repented and no one's hurt right now, you're fine, you know? Yeah. No, no, that's it. That's it. That's that's a hundred percent dead cool. But this yeah. shit resides in my mind, right? Like I don't know. I don't know. In daily interactions, in daily interactions, like off camera, like in daily interactions, like this shit fucks me up. You know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a guilty conscience. Um the only thing I can say is it's a fucking testament. And if you haven't fucking done shit like that, you shouldn't. You never fucking should. You no, ought to retain your fucking clear conscience and not do fuck shit. Because it will fuck I, you. I, I don't know, Google. I, no, man. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know what you've done, but like, I, mean, I did some fucked up stuff when I was younger, too. And it's just like... It weighs you. It weighs you down. Like you think about it, and like you, like you, you can't like you feel bad about it for like years. Um, I don't know, the only way I've been able to move on is just like you gotta outweigh your Sweet. bad with Delicious. good. You gotta do more good for yourself than bad. And well, that, it's, it's all... Google, that's what I've tried to do. And now, yeah. as I'm a delivery driver, I fucking drive the economy. You know, and I do good for people. People are juiced. People are really happy when I bring them their deliveries. And I try to just be the best delivery driver I can be. That is my life right now. I try to be the best delivery driver I can be. And I try to make people as happy as I can make them with my fucking deliveries. You know? And karmically... In terms of karma, in terms of fucking karma, I hope eventually that outweighs the shit that I've done wrong. Because I've done some real shit fucking wrong. Gahul, I just feel so bad about a couple certain things. Like, there's only a, a couple fucking things. You know, but there's yeah. a couple fucking things that I just, I feel so bad about. Sweet, delicious you know? And every day I fucking think about it. And every day that shit fucking brings me down in my mind. Well, I don't yeah, know. Gonna, I don't know. I don't know how to express that really, to be honest. No, I, I, I understand you. Like, I, I, was, I was there. Yeah. Google? Yep. You know, PvP said that I committed arson. Well, 
You know, I committed arson. Well, like, I mean, okay, it's, I don't know, I don't know the situation of what he's describing, but I don't know, I don't know what that has to do with, you know, I don't know if I believe him, and even if you did, it's like, that's in the past. What, what's that going to change about the future? I don't know, that's the truth, that's the truth, I just want to admit it, I just want to admit it so I can move on, I just wanted to fucking admit that publicly so I can move on. Thank you, man. Arson, well, listen, man. That's, I mean, that's not a good thing to do, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's not the worst crime you can commit. You know, it's, it's, I mean, today you didn't hurt anyone, right? It was just you burned some stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, almost... yeah, I know. No, no individual got hurt. Right? That's fine. Sweet, delicious. And, I mean, it's, it's not good to do that stuff, but it's just like, it was a stupid thing, but it's all right now. You know, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's the case. That's the fucking case. I love you, bro. I fucking love you, bro. Well, Thanks I love for you helping me do that. Well, it's okay. I mean, accepting it and admitting what you've done is a good step, you know. I'm sure you probably, I don't know about doing it on a stream, but it's, it's all right. I don't think what you did was that bad. And it's okay to, it's okay to forgive yourself, you know. Like, it's all right to... To know it was okay. To know that it happened, and it's it's okay. Well, yeah, I know. But Stafford, seriously, I know it. I'm. I mean, I understand you got you want to confess your sins and stuff, and it's like that's good. Getting that weight off your chest is probably good for you. But it's gonna be all right, man. And don't go into any details about what happened, you know, on the stream. Don't let people in chat try and convince you. Because you just keep that to you can keep that to yourself. But the truth is. The truth is you're not a bad person, and even good people do bad things, stupid things sometimes, all right? I appreciate that, Google. Because I look back at my past, like, not only that, like, not, Google, not only that, what I just shared with you, mm -hmm. um, but, like, some of the shit I did when I did door-to-door -door sales, um, Google, like, I... Google, I scammed some people. You know, like, I fucking... Google, I fucking scammed some fucking people. Some weak and vulnerable people. You know what I mean? Well, like... Yeah, I, I understand that. Right? For a fucking Sometimes. deal. For a fucking deal. So I could make $150, I fucked people. So I could make $150, I would fuck someone. And well, I can think of three to... instances where I did that and it wasn't right. And you know, I remember that to this day and that hurts me. That really fucking hurts me in my conscience. I I remember that, Google, when I interact with people, like not on camera, like not right now as we're live streaming, but like when I interact with people on uh, fucking day to day and everyday interactions, I don't feel right because I remember, I remember how I fucking interacted with people like that and I fucking scammed people, you know? It's not right. It's not fucking right. And it hurts me in my soul to this day. I don't know how else to say that. Sweet. I might not even sports. be saying that correctly. You know what I no, mean? I you're saying it, but I understand what you're saying. I'll, I'll tell you this, sir, but I'm not... I'm not an expert on this, but I want you to think about this. What you did and you feel bad about, people do to other people millions of times every day in sales, in, in every industry. It's just a part of, it's a part of business. And it's, it's wrong, and you realize it was wrong, and you realize that you shouldn't be doing that because it's wrong for you, you know? And you moved out of that, and you moved to uh, doing something where you're actually benefiting people, and you're actually doing good for and helping people get stuff and delivering stuff to people, and actually being useful to society instead of being a leech. We yeah. know a lot of sales jobs are. You're you you shifted from being a leech to being a, an actual like real person with a real job. And it's, it's but you know the whole, you know the whole. Yeah. After I did these things. After I did these things, I would go home to my ex-girlfriend at night 
You've probably heard of the Italian I've spoke of that I dated for five years. That yeah. I dated for five years and then she fucking broke up with me. Do you know that after I did these things and I fucking scammed these people and did wrong to them, I would go yeah. home to her and I would tell her what I did like I was proud of it. Well, and I'm she sure lost, well, she lost all respect for me as a result of that. She well, lost all respect for me that she had. And that's my fault. Because I did those things. And I came home and I fucking told her about them. You did your job well. You should. Like, I feel good when I do well at my job and I earn good money for myself. The problem was that your kind of job wasn't good for you and you felt you had the guilt upon you. Go. <laughs> I was very wrong in what I did. I was very wrong in what I fucking did. And, well, I regret that eternally. And I would never do anything like I did again because I understand it now. And what I did was fucking wrong. And that's why, Gahul, now, when I turn to God, I turn to God as the fucking publican. I'm not worthy. Jesus Christ died for our sins. And I'm not worthy of that. Most people, Gahul, are more worthy of that than I am. I am not worthy of that. I am a fallen sinner through and through. I have fucked up. I have done terrible shit. And that stings me in my conscience to this day. I can't get past it. It fucking stings me in my conscience to this day. And Jesus Christ died for that. Like, I, I think you need to be, you need to accept that your past may be evil, but doesn't mean your future is. Your future is good. You're right, Google. You're 100% right about that. Um, but the thing is, I don't deserve to be saved. Um, the things I have done, I don't deserve the fucking grace that Jesus Christ showed us. But Jesus Christ showed us that faith regardless. For people like me. And Google, that's the most beautiful thing that exists in all of fucking existence. Um, that's the thing that you do deserve forgiveness. You do. I don't. I don't. I don't. But Christ died regardless for our fucking sins. And even though I don't deserve it, even though the shit I've fucking done, Google, I don't deserve it, I can still be saved through the blood of Christ. And that really is something. It is. And I just say that because I hope it's inspiring for Chad. Because it doesn't fucking matter. If we turn to Christ and we seek fucking Christ and we seek understanding, although we only see as in a dimlit fucking mirror, we may be saved. Regardless of what we've done, all we need to do is turn to Christ and repent and fucking move in that direction. I appreciate wow, that, Google. I appreciate that, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of talking out my ass here. I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm telling you. No, that's all right. I should be, Google. I should be rotting in jail right now. I'm not going to lie. Google, right now, I should be rotting in jail. But you're not. 
You I'm know, not. And, I'm not. By the grace of God, I'm not. Sweet, delicious pussy. Right, and so just because you should be doesn't mean you gotta live with what you are at, not what you should be at. You know, if you, I don't think you deserve to go to jail. You got a good life to lead. You got more. You, you're more used to God in the world out here than you are in jail. You know. <laughs> JJ says prison. You mean? Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, JJ, you queer. <laughs> no, Google, Google, you, you're fucking, it doesn't matter, the fucking jail or fucking prison. I'm by the grace of God, I'm fucking here. And I understand the things I've done are wrong, and I fucking repented. Um, I, like, I, I don't know what to say. These probably aren't things I should be saying on live stream, to be honest. No, you should um, probably stop there. I mean, like, it's okay to, I understand you want to talk about your issues, and that's cool. But, like, I wouldn't do it on a live stream. Yeah, like, I, people will bring this up and, like, try and ruin you with it. But, you know, I mean, the, honestly, being honest about who you are is fine. Just don't give, don't talk about anything specific with the details. Don't go in that direction, all right, man? Just keep a... Uh, Keep, I mean, it's okay. I know you feel guilty about it, but it's going to be all right, man. It's going to be fine. Ultimately, the purpose of jail is to make you repentant for your sins. And I'm repentant of my sins without jail. I'm repentant of my sins because I understand that Christ died on the fucking cross for my sins. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I don't deserve that. Um, I deserve to be in fucking prison and fucking burn in hell um, for the shit I've fucking done. In all honesty. In all fucking honesty. But Christ died on the cross for our sins that we may repent um, and we may be saved. Well, Google, I would say that no one is a fucking good dude. I would say that we are all good slash evil. That it's all fucking good and evil resides within us. Sweet, delicious pussy. And the shit I've fucking done, the shit I've fucking done that's evil resides fucking in me. And the shit I've done that's good resides in me. And I choose the fucking good. Um, but man, man is imperfect. Um, man, man isn't good or evil. Man is a mixture of fucking both. Um, well, that's true. But I think what defines a good person versus a, a bad person is the ability to choose to make the good choices. You know, you know, there's evil in your heart and you can choose it at any time. Being a good person is trying your best to choose good as much as often as possible. Sweet, delicious pussy. I choose good now, Gahul. I've done fucking evil, and you know, that stings me in my conscience. In everyday interaction, in everyday interaction, when I look people in the eyes, I feel like they can see the evil in me that I've done. Sweet, delicious pussy. You know? When I look well, people in the eyes, I don't know. I just, I feel that, you know, but I choose to do good now. But he's been around forever, right? And the thing that I always loved about ZXV with his great fighting game skills, He would be my opinion of an A-log, like my the prototypical A-log, not like, you know, the Anthony Legato, like the A-log, us, us, you know, he had some great A-log, he would fucking roast Cog, roast every, even guys that you like, he'd roast him, that's why I always loved him, he was the mod of this channel. And now, ZXV 
is the biggest streamer on YouTube. He has a network. Hello to John Marvronis and Maddie Cat. Hey guys, happy anniversary. Hope it's a great one. Take care.